Welcome to Kamudi Global. The ongoing crisis in Sri Lanka and Pakistan, fueled by the economic mismanagement by the incumbent governments, has once again brought the focus back to the Chinese debt trap. Writing for the Times of Israel, Fabian Bozad said the crises are undoubtedly fed by politicians trying to enrich themselves while sticking to power. However, they get short-term support from Chinese projects financed by the latter's banking institutions. These factors add up to become an economic noose around the beneficiary's neck, said Bossard, who is the president of CPFA. He argued that it is a Belt and Road initiative in Sri Lanka where the government collapsed in the face of street protests caused by severe shortages of essential commodities. In Pakistan, it is a much bigger China-Pakistan economic corridor is infamously called the Chinese East India Company, a symbol of colonization. That voice muted through media suppression promises to return as Pakistan goes to the polls later this year, Bossa wrote. Further, the CPFA president further how that the list of countries trapped by Chinese debt is growing. More than 40 countries have solely felt the impact of the Chinese benevolence, ready to pull their people out of poverty but land them into debts that multiply and become difficult to be serviced, leave alone, repaid, he said. Among them are Laos, Zambia and Kyrgyzstan. They include most less developed economies, but some like Malaysia are intermediary. China's Belt and Road Initiative has left scores of low- and middle-income countries saddled with hidden debts totaling $385 billion, according to new research. The findings are part of a report published by Aid Data, an international development research lab based in the College of William and Mary in Virginia. According to this report, China has used debt rather than an aid to establish a dominant position in the international development finance market. The report has analyzed more than 13,000 aid and debt financed projects worth more than 843 billion US dollars across 165 countries. According to aid data, over 40 LMIC now have levels of debts exposure to China higher than 10% of the national gross domestic product. The number of mega projects financed with loans worth 500 million US dollars or more approved each year tripled during the first five years of BRI implementation. Despite larger loans and expanded loans portfolios, BRI has not led to any major changes in the sectoral or geographical composition of China's overseas development finance program, the report said. As per the report, 35% of the BRI infrastructure project portfolio has encountered major implementation problems such as corruption scandals, labor violation, environmental hazards, and public protests. By comparison, only 21% of the Chinese government infrastructure project portfolios outside the BRI has encountered similar implementation problems, according to aid data. I'm Neha signing out. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.